Let's step into the future of design and conquer the motion graphics of tomorrow. Together, we'll easily use After Effects to make some of the best sci-fi projects. So let's just jump in and get started. Now, there's a lot of easy and valuable elements to create here, but you can use any of these techniques individually, or you can group them together to create something awesome, including the concept art that you see here. So what I'm trying to say is that this wasn't clickbait. But first, let's talk about typography. For fonts, I searched for cyberpunk sci-fi fonts, and the two that I like the most are Valorex and NCL Recon. The NCL font is going to more or less provide you with text that is on the abstract side, so it's great for the aesthetic, while something like Valorax is actually legible. So now for our first in action technique, for pulsating text, I'll make sure that fill and stroke is enabled in the character panel, and after your first title is created, go to animate and add fill color opacity. Then just add a keyframe for the opacity, move forward in your timeline by several frames, add another keyframe, and then exactly one frame forward, set the opacity to 0%, and then finally move forward a little bit more and add one final 0% keyframe. From here, you can alt click the stopwatch and type the loop out open close parenthesis expression to loop this animation forever. So from here, you can fill up your entire screen by duplicating the title a few times, and then offset it in your timeline to create a pulsating text animation and you can create some really cool expanded designs with this technique. All right, let's knock out the big tamale by creating these concept images that can overhaul your sci-fi projects. So if you have Photoshop 2025, you can create a new project and immediately have the option to generate image, then type in the prompt of the design that you wish to create and then select art or photo. It may take you a few generations and updating your prompt but when you get something that you like, I would duplicate the layer with Command-J or Control-J, right-click it, and select Rasterize. Then you get the option to remove the background and only select the subject, which is perfect. So then now you can save this as a PNG with no background and plop it right into After Effects. And that's just so cool. But now with that said, I'm not a huge fan of AI images, but you know, apparently it's here to stay. So now back into the motion graphics of everything, there's a lot for us to create. So let's start with these animated lines. All you need to do is use the pen tool with fill turn off and stroke enabled. Then just draw out some random lines, but be sure to hold shift on your keyboard to make some parts of the line, you know, straight. But when you're done, you can add trim paths to your design and keyframe the start and end to animate the line completely like so. You can also add the loop out expression to loop it forever. Now, if you like, you can create additional lines for more detail and add as many line groups into your project to compound your design prowess. And to further your content creation prowess while saving a ridiculous amount of time, you can animate entire projects with just a few clicks of our Animator Pro Pack. Just select your layers, apply a preset, and watch your animations come to life in no time. And on top of that, we have over 40,000 plus templates and transitions all inside of After Effects and Premiere Pro. So be sure to get our 200 free templates and check out everything in the description below. So back in this, another great tip when creating sci-fi graphics is that there should be some function to it. For example, this animated line of circles is being transported into these triangles. I guess that college art semiotics class is, you know, finally paying off. <laughs> So we can use the polygon tool and set the points to three to create a triangle and we'll go ahead and have two of these. Then again, use the pen tool to create a straight line. To turn this into circles, go to the stroke and slap the plus icon next to dashes twice. <laughs> then set the line cap to a round cap, no cap. <laughs> All right, never mind. Then adjust the dash settings as needed. And for the offset, add the time asterisk 100 expression to animate this forever like a boss. Next up is the epic title collage. I would do this inside of a new composition and use the rectangle tool to draw out a thin stroked box. Then using some of those cyberpunk fonts, fill it with random characters, and also to add some multi-language text, you can actually go to Google Translate and copy the type in that language. Then use a font that supports those characters and paste it right into your collage. And finally, fast forwarding here, you can plop this back into your final project when you're done. Now, if you thought that last technique was cool, this one is crazy. For some fast paced objects that will flicker by, here's a wonderful tip. Go to your font dropdown and use wingdings. I know, this is a crazy idea, but seriously, try typing one letter. 
and then trim up that title to be two or three frames long and then repeat this process until you have a handful of random symbols then in your main composition you can place this over to the side or somewhere and repeat the animation as needed and pretty cool right i bet you thought wingdings were a joke all right anyway another great idea that doesn't take much effort is side graphics just by laying out some simple text along the edges can make all the difference when used in a small format the font Arial works very well as you can see you can also try creating a pulsating box just like we did with the text for instance draw out a shape with both stroke and fill enabled then animate the fill opacity to flicker by with the loop out expression just like we did with the text and again duplicate and offset each layer so overall it's important to think about the small graphics that you can use to throw in around the edges now if you want to have a more detailed object you know you go ahead and design a custom shape you know with the pen tool try drawing a random design just like we did for that line technique and then you can populate that design with some filler text and boom another detailed element for your overall composition just some quick food for thought and lastly adding in some accent graphics will bring splashes of detail where needed with the pen tool you can create a thin line and then under the stroke set it to round cap and then add trim paths you may quickly animate the start and end from 50 percent to the original value so that the line will animate in from the center and now add a repeater set the exposition to zero adjust the rotation and also the anchor point and then you can increase the number of copies and if you like we can add the time asterisk 100 expression to the original rotation of the layer and keyframe the scale to have this element leave us <laughs> so feel free to populate your scene with this object and you may watch my other tutorial on brutalism for more techniques so subscribe to be the best and always be creating